Welcome to Climbing Together, the small business experience. I'm Beth Houtrow, founder of Climb the Small Business Book Club. In every episode, I talk to a small business owner about a mistake that they've made and what they learned from the experience. Mistakes are inevitable, perfection's impossible, so let's embrace the mistake. And today we're so excited to welcome Michaela Giselle Brooks. Michaela Giselle, tell us a little bit about you and your business. Hello, Beth, and thank you everyone for having me on your show. Um, a little bit about me. Um, I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I spent most of my adult life in the Bay Area, where I've grown an amazing community of entrepreneurs, just like us. <laughs> um, I own Oak and Moon Candles and Care, um, where you can find your luxury self-care essentials, non-toxic and vegan. Nice. Awesome. I you know. I love your products. They're amazing. And so super mm -hmm. excited to be able to feature you here today. But we are right here to talk about mistakes. So talk to me about a mistake that you've made and what you learned from the experience. Recently, um, I did make a mistake about a couple of weeks ago um, where I did not read information properly. I scheduled an event that um, I thought was just right in my backyard. Come to find out it's actually an hour and a half to two hours away. So um, me having to calculate expenses, me having to calculate all of these things um, that I did not have ready you know, when yeah. booking that event. Yeah, it was a big yeah. mistake for sure. Yeah. And how did the actual event go once you got there? When I got there, it was um, definitely not what I expected. Um, it was hot. Uh, so I sell candles, you know, so having to worry about um, them maintaining their quality was definitely something I had to think about and did not have on my mind before getting there. Um, and the event just did not turn out as many folks as I expected initially. Yeah, I think it can be one of those things. I know you do a lot of events that as you get comfortable doing those things that maybe you forget right? To read the fine print and to make sure that you've got all those details. You're like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's definitely yes. a mistake. Most of us think those mistakes happen in the beginning, but I truthfully think sometimes you get super comfortable and you can make mistakes you wouldn't expect to make. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nice. So what would you say you learned from that? Like what, what was your takeaway going forward? Dot my I's, cross my T's, definitely look at the fine print, you know, make sure yeah. to put things on the schedule with the locations of any event that's to come. So yeah. And I guess for you, check the weather, right? And, the <laughs> and weather. how hot it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I've never yes. thought about that, but with the candle business, yeah, you have to know how hot it's going to be. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very specific advice for candle businesses, but for all the candle businesses out there, check the weather uh, when you yeah. sign up for an event. Nice. Okay. Well, that's, it's super useful though. I think a lot of people do make mistakes by just not being careful, right? With little details like, like dates and, and locations and stuff like that. So very important. All right. So moving past that mistake, talk to me, just as what's one piece of advice you'd share with new entrepreneurs as they're getting started? With new entrepreneurs, I would probably say, just take your time. Um, there's a lot to do and you don't want to get too overwhelmed all at once. Of course, make sure you have a checklist. If you don't meet some of those checks, you know, um, just breathe. It's okay. You can handle it tomorrow. Um, I would definitely say a mistake here that I made is not really focusing on my branding, overall branding that I wanted to interact, um, how I wanted folks to interact with my business and see my business. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely having to backtrack and understanding that, you know, um, having a strong foundation and a branding um, would be really useful moving forward. Yeah. So you just kind of like rushed forward without kind of learning all the pieces of what needed to be done. Is that, is that what exactly. you're saying happened? Yeah, okay. yeah. exactly. For successful yep. business, you know, reaching my audiences and things like yep. that. So, yeah. And there's a balance between like not over planning, right. And getting the basics down so that, so that you make sure you maintain a quality brand and that you yes. get good customer reviews and all those kind of things. Um, Cause they can have impacts down the line. Yeah. That's, that's great advice. And just like you said, be kind to yourself. It is really hard to start a business. <laughs> really <Yes>. hard. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, here at Climb the Small Business Book Club, we have two tenants, continual learning, mostly with books um, and community. So you said you had a book that really has meant something to you, both for business and life. So what was that? 
Creating Affluence by Deepak Chopra is one of my favorite books. It's like a mantra that you can listen to. It's about an hour long. And it's just a mantra that you listen to, um, that I listen to, to really just like ease my nerves and just open myself up to opportunities and seeing opportunities okay. where I might not have seen them before. Nice. Is it, can you tell us like, like what is the mantra about? I mean, creating affluence, I suppose, but yeah. is there any more specifics so there? actually um, like an ABC, um, like a word for every letter um, because okay. there's, I guess, 26 of them, but he goes into depth about each one of them. Um, but it's just like, you know, having a zest for life. You know, okay. like that's just something that you should do. So that's and you're starting at Z, but um, just having that zest for life and just really seeing, you know, beauty in the world to me is something that really mm -hmm. helped me deal with all of the, you know, overwhelming anxiety, you know, type of tasks that I have to do. So that definitely yeah. helped ease my nerves and, you know, help me see the good in life. Nice. I love that because as a founder, your mental health and your wellness, I mean, if, if it's not there, you don't get to succeed because eventually, eventually you burn out, eventually um, you're doing lower quality work, right? Because right. you're not internally um, at the best you can be. So I know it's not a traditional business book, but I do think that as founders, we have to take care of ourselves. And so I love that recommendation um, for, for mental wellness for our founders. Okay. And our last tenant here, right, is community. And I know you're a part of two communities, uh, both the Renaissance Entrepreneurship Center in the Bay and the Transgender District here in the Bay. So talk to me about what those organizations and those communities have meant to you. Renaissance has been amazing. I met you through Renaissance um, <laughs> and just meeting some fantastic teachers to really help me see like reality and see where my business is now and how I can project my business forward is something that is invaluable information. Um, so I'm definitely grateful to meet you and everyone at Renaissance um, and just like keep growing, you know, like there's just so many much information out there and you all provide um, resources that I didn't know of before, you know, uh, that I can definitely take a hold of. So I'm really happy um, to have met you and form this community with the transgender district. I mean, that's just, you know, like a backbone, like my life, yeah. you know, um, honestly has definitely changed coming in contact with the transgender district, one helping me change my uh, legal name, updating that and my gender. So these are all things to help me feel more comfortable in my own skin, um, awesome. mental health, you know, and um, I met them pretty much when I started my business. So it was a pivotal time for me to really, you know, define and, and be clear about what I wanted for myself and for my business and building and that community. What is it? The other okay, yeah. I mean, what is it yeah. meant to you at the Transgender District? I know you have a cohort of people who are starting businesses. Yes. Um, what is it meant to you to, to work with those people and get to know other uh, transgender founders? That is amazing to me. One, because I don't know a lot of transgender folks like myself. So just to be in a cohort with other dolls like me um, and other folks like me or, um, you know, and, and all of us starting a business, we don't see, I don't see that often. I don't see... <laughs> folks who, you know, have been through my particular experience um, starting businesses. So, you know, when I started out my business, I'm just, you know, just going in this in the dark, pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. And just knowing that there's, something, there's a goal that I want to reach. But then coming to find, you know, Renaissance and the Transgender District, meeting folks who are on a similar path, um, and then seeing their goals and what they want to achieve, what they've already achieved. That is just so enlightening. It's so uplifting to have a community, um, you know, folks just like me. So yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of well, all of us. That's amazing, Michaela Giselle. And I'm so excited to have gotten the opportunity to work with Transgender District and with you. Um, but that is our podcast today. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor. Thank you. This podcast is brought to you by Climb the Small Business Book Club, where entrepreneurs go to learn, discuss, apply, and grow. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to subscribe at Apple, Spotify, or Google Podcasts, or follow us on Instagram at Climb Book Club. And always remember, mistakes are inevitable, perfection's impossible. So let's embrace the mistake.